just so you guys know, I haven't had any sleep. Oh. Oh. Oh no, where'd it go? Jeez. You know what it is? It has been a long time since I've just heard myself talk. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Tia Mori here. So today I am so proud to tell you guys that I will be spotlighting some incredible black owned businesses ran by some awesome women. Not only will I be showcasing some of their incredible products, I will also be sharing with you some of their cute, sweet notes that they had written to me. Don't forget to hit that bell by the subscription button to be reminded of future episodes. So you guys, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to highlight these amazing, beautiful women because I love their products. I, I wear glass, but it's fine. I, I got it. Just make sure I don't look like this, okay? I'm asking you guys, please. The first product that I want to showcase is Play Pits. Can you guess what this is? Play Pits. First of all, I think that is the most adorable name ever. Shuttling her son, Cameron, between baseball camp and football practice, that sounds like me with Cree, always playing basketball. Mother of three, Chantelle Powell, noticed a stench. <laughs> noticed a stench emanating from his body. You smell like a grown man, she declared. With Cameron just six years old at the time, Powell didn't feel comfortable slathering him in aluminum antiperspirant, say that three times, aluminum antiperspirant, antiperspirant, antiperspirant. So she decided natural deodorants were the route she'd take, but she found them to be super boring. Cameron wouldn't be eager to wear them. It's kind of like how I am, I know this sounds really weird, but with cooking, you know what I mean? When I want to get my son to eat some vegetables or something that's really, really good for him, I like to to, like just get him involved in the kitchen. So I like the way that she used that thought process with this with this product. She said, I wanted something that was fun. So she got crafty and mixed up a deodorant formula with a few ingredients she had in her kitchen. Coconut oil, ah, oh, amazing. Cornstarch, baking soda, and essential oils. My grandmother would put baking soda under my arms before I went out to play, says Powell. The formula became the foundation for Play Pits, a children's natural deodorant brand. I think that is genius. One thing that I love about this, you guys, it smells so good. So I can really see the essential oils. They're really coming through. What I also love about this is it's 100% all natural and it has lemon, grapefruit and lemongrass. And you guys, I can actually smell it. This smells so good. Wow, good for you. And it says that it's inspired by kids, but perfect for all ages. Like this smells good, like you wanna eat it, but don't eat it kids, okay? The smell that's like really coming out is lemon and grapefruit. That's why it makes me wanna like eat it. But don't eat it. My son Cree, he sweats, you know, a lot, but there hasn't been any stench, let's just say that so far, <laughs> thank God, but, I will have this handy just in case. Congratulations, Chantel. This right here is a winner. Cree will definitely be rocking this. Oh my gosh. Oh, so they're not just for kids. Oh, you guys, what's also great about this is we have a queen. I wonder who the queen is. I mean, I did wear my crown today. And we have one that says King on it for my husband. Ooh, it smells a little more, I wanna say grown up. The ingredient list here is shea butter, coconut oil, cornstarch, baking soda, and apple cider vinegar. Wow. And there's no aluminum, there's no parabens, and no artificial fragrance, which is a plus. You guys, I'm gonna be very honest with you, okay? My husband, oh jeez. I wish I could say this, but especially when we've been quarantined, he never takes a shower. Like, Corey, gosh, I know you're not going anywhere, but just take a shower. Corey, here's a gift. We are going to rock these when we get sweaty. <laughs> okay, you guys, so next is Sienna sauce. It says, live, love, 
and sauce it up. Not live, love, and laugh. Let's take them out. And we have spicy, spicy. You know I love things spicy. We got tangy. Let's see what else we got. What else we got? What else we got? Lemon pepper. It says mouth-watering. I was going to say this is like making my mouth water. This is the mouth-watering healthy choice. You can put this on anything. You can put this on, you know, the movie um, Forrest Gump. Oh God, what was his name? Bubba. Thank you so much. Okay, and he was like, you can saute shrimp, you can boil sh boil shrimp, you can uh, bake shrimp. Like he just kept on going like list after list after list. This is the same thing with this barbecue sauce. You can use this barbecue sauce on chicken. You can use this barbecue sauce on steak. You can use this barbecue sauce on vegetables. You can use this barbecue sauce just on anything. Oh, it actually says you can use this barbecue sauce on seafood. So maybe you can eat this with some seafood. You guys, if you wanna know a great wing recipe, check out my video. I did a YouTube video on um, different ways on how you can make some uh, chicken wings and you could totally, totally use this in the recipe. All right, you guys, so I told the owner of Sienna Sauce that I was gonna be showcasing her product and she wrote me this sweet note, wow. This is amazing. I'm so honored. Our community is ran by a 16 year old CEO. 16, that's a one and a six people whose mission is to inspire other youth that entrepreneurship is an option. Also that our vision as a company is to become a household name and to be passed down through generations. Oh. That is amazing. I hope that she enjoys the sauce and shares it with her family because that's what it is all about. Especially during these times, cooking and music are so important for mental health and culture. Also, a bonus, you can use it on anything. I had mentioned that earlier. There's recommended use on the back and it's gluten-free, hey! And no HFCS, hey! It can be used as a glaze, whoop whoop, dip, hey, marinade, and do so much more. You guys, I am so hungry. And also, you guys, she is giving us a 10% discount. You just have to use the promo code QUICKFIX10. Boom. You know, I'm all about fashion, and I love a nice pair of earrings, okay? It's just a part of me, it's who I am. So I'm really excited about this. It's called Bobby Made This. So because her products are handmade and you guys, they are selling so fast, I have not gotten my earrings yet, but I will be waiting. So this is what Bobby wanted me to share about her incredible business. Bobby Brown Mayo is a stay-at-home mom of four. Mm, whoop whoop. And the owner and creator of Bobby Made This a handcrafted jewelry line that focuses on funky, bold, one-of-a-kind earrings. Crafted in her spare bedroom, Bobby's designs have been featured on BuzzFeed and is listed in the Black Parade of Black-owned businesses on Beyonce.com. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We all know how much I love Beyonce and Beyonce loves her too. With a mission of spreading joy one ear at a time. Bobby plans to make her colorful and affordable accessories a household name. What I also love about her earrings is just like her marketing. I love that there's one photo of this beautiful black woman with gray hair. I, I just think, I just think that that's really cool capturing women in their natural state. So it, it, it really says a lot about just the, you know, authenticity of the product. She made this by hand. And I love the way that that's also resonating with her marketing. It's all about feeling bold and confident. And I know when I get myself, you know, ready in the morning to head out to tackle the day, I have to feel confident. And to know that that's like what is behind your mission I think that's incredible, so kudos to you, Bobby. Up next, Grace Alea. So she makes incredible head wraps, right? And I really love this color. It's just like a nice, just pop, 
bold, bright color. And I love that it's lined with silk. So it keeps your hair in great condition. Let me see, let's see how this looks. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. And you know what? You could wear it with long hair. You could wear it with short hair. I just love how it just adds a pop of color to whatever you're wearing and just gives like a nice accent. This feels so good too. It's, it's, it's like really good quality. Let's see what Grace wanted me to share with you guys. OMG, Tia and Tamir oh, were one of the first women we had on our lists when we created this company. So this is huge to us. Oh my gosh. See, that is amazing. I love when everything comes full circle. I created this line of stylish hair protection to solve a very real issue in her own life, breakage. See, I knew it. That's why there's silk in here because it will take care of your hair. I was looking to create something as protective as a bonnet, but cute enough to pass as a beanie. So I created the slap satin lined cap. From there, I expanded to pillowcases, headbands, scrunchies, and more. Now we don't have to sacrifice hair health for style ever again. I think that is genius. I wonder if you thought about my sister and I because, you know, on Sister Sister, we like wore hats, like that was our thing. It's so cool to see that your vision has come to pass and here I am talking about you on my YouTube channel. Oh no, my phone died, really? I'm the worst. You guys, I absolutely love this next product. This is a phone case. And what I love about it is just the imagery on here. It's a beautiful black girl with glasses and her makeup's done, her hair's done. She has on a power suit and it says girl power times. It's just so inspiring to me. I really think that representation is really important, especially when it comes to being inspired by you know, your dreams or to go after your goals. That's what the story is for me in this image. It just kind of shows like this woman has her stuff together. She looks great and she's ready to tackle the world. You know, you, you use your phone like every single day. I just think it's just so inspiring. Hey girl, how you doing? So this is Eni, y'all. So let's see what Eni wanted me to share with you guys. Aside from being a fictional globe-trotting fashionita, Eni is about positivity, beauty, and fun that make up black girl magic, yes! And we're spreading the love through art. Thank you so much. And please thank Tia for the purchase and for featuring Eni on her show. You are so welcome. So I definitely wanted to put a spotlight on the children's multicultural bookstore. We are living in a Black Lives Matter movement and so many people are asking, you know, how can I teach my children or how can we all as a community be anti-racist? And I really think that one way you can achieve that is reading to your children. And what's so great is Tamara Shiloh, she's created this hub you can go to that has books that celebrates um, diversity and that celebrates different cultures. Also, what's great about Tamara Shiloh is I like her name, number one. <laughs> That's like my sister's name. She's a writer and she wanted me to share this with you guys. I write children's books about African-American inventors and scientists. My series is titled, Just Imagine, What If There Were No Black People in the World? Very soon, I will be offering a Black history professional development class for educators, showing them how they can incorporate Black history into their curriculum without changing anything. I just think that that is just so awesome, so incredible. So make sure you guys check out her bookstore. I will be sharing her link in the description below, along with all of these other amazing products. Meals, music, and muses. Recipes from my African-American kitchen, Alexander Smalls. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. So this is basically, oh my gosh, you guys. Y'all, if you haven't tried Southern food, 
you haven't lived. <laughs> you have not lived. Look at this, grits and sage sausage gravy. Smothered shrimp and crab meat pan gravy. Creole potato salad. Sherry she crab soup. Southern fried chicken plate. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I have a lot of cookbooks at home. But what I love about this cookbook is it has like a different cool twist to it. It doesn't just have meals in here. It's just about music and its muses. It's like his dishes are inspired by music and songs. When you listen to a song, you have memories, right? And when you listen to a great song, it makes you feel good. It puts you in a great mood. It's the same thing with food, people. When you eat a great meal, like it just puts you in a great mood and then you create memories. That's how food is to me. It's all about creating awesome memories. So for him to just infuse music with food, with, you know, his culture, being an African-American, I think this is genius. So this is what they wanted me to share with you guys. This is such an honor and thank you. Kizzy's Book and More, founded by entrepreneur Trinessa L. Williams, MBA, DBA, girl, you better state it. Let them know. It's an online bookstore that sells African-American literature and other products that embrace black culture. The store named after the character Kizzy from Roots by Alex Haley is committed to embracing the African-American culture and the joy of reading. Oh my gosh, I love that. Here is another place where you guys can shop online to get some incredible books to learn more about African-American culture. Let me tell you something. Being black, <laughs> being black and sunscreen, it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I'm always having to have to really rub it in. Just, it's, it's interesting when we put on sunscreen, it's just, it shows up. It really shows up. <laughs> It really shows up and sometimes that can be so annoying. So I love that there is a sunscreen called Black Girl Sunscreen. There is a kids sunscreen and there is also face and body, which is awesome. And it's SPF 50. We have to take care of our skin. I know that, you know, some people, especially who has more melanin in their, um, their their skin sometimes we think that we should not be wearing sunscreen but no that's not true you really really need to wear sunscreen for your skin's health all right you guys let's see how this rubs on oh it just blends right in which i love you don't see the white residue and see, that's what happens when you are African-American or if you're dark skinned or your you know, skin is, has a darker tone, whenever you tend to just use other sunscreens, it just leaves a white you know, residue. And I'm sitting there, I'm not kidding you, rubbing in the sunscreen with my kids for 25 minutes. So as you can see, I literally just put this in my hand and just rubbed it a little bit and it like emulsified into my skin. It's just like, you don't even see it, which is awesome. Yes, you are a genius. Ultra sheer, no white residue. I feel like only dark skinned people will really understand. <laughs> this one's great because it's infused with jojoba oil and avocado. So I love that there's just like natural ingredients in here. It's ultra sheer with no white residue. And you know, these products have no parabens. Don't forget to wear your sunscreen. This smells good too, but don't eat it kids. This is what they wanted me to share with you guys. 
Our story begins with the need for melanin women who have a sunscreen brand that caters exclusively to them. From carrying expensive umbrellas to the beach and downright neglecting to go outside altogether, our founder thought it was time to create a natural, non-white residue sunscreen brand for women of color. All outside activities began to come to a halt since we knew how much sun rays would damage the skin, even ours. Girl, I totally get it. Like. I understand you took the reins and you decided to create something that was needed, so thank you. You know, I truly believe in supporting small businesses, especially black owned businesses and businesses ran by some incredible women. I want to encourage you guys to check out all of these amazing products. I've left some links in the description below. And again, congratulations to all of you guys. Don't forget, Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Tia Mori's Quick Fix.